If you don't know who Psy is, you might know his iconic song, Gangnam Style. The song swept the world and had us all dancing and galloping. While we may see an eccentric K-pop rapper, there is much more to the man behind those sunglasses. Here are 10 surprising things you didn't know about Psy. If you're a regular on our channel, then you know that a quiz waits for you. If you're new, know you're in the know. We will reveal the quiz question soon and we'll reveal the answer at the end. Before we get rolling, take a moment to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button as well as the gray bell to turn on your notifications. Affluency. One of the most fascinating things about celebrities is their origin stories. What was their life like before they were famous? Did they reach their success by luck or hard work? We often hear about celebrities having a rags to riches story that makes us all relate to them and really cheer them on. It's the perfect fairy tale story. But you're not going to find that in Sai's origin story. Sai was born Park Jae Sang on December 31st, 1977 to a very affluent family. He also grew up in the Gangnam district of Seoul, South Korea. Sound familiar? Turns out Psy is actually singing from personal experience. Gangnam is like the Beverly Hills of the area, so Psy was really working from personal experiences when he worked on the song and video. Psy's father, Park Won Ho, is the executive chairman of the DI Corporation, and his mother, Kim Young Hee, owns several restaurants in the Gangnam district. Even being born into wealth, Psy didn't know about foreign pop music until he was 15 years old. He fell in love with music after watching a Queen concert on TV and was inspired by Freddie Mercury. He clearly hasn't had to worry about money like your average Joe. Life in the United States Even though he is so talented and it seems like he's been working as a musician his whole life, Psy didn't have aspirations to become a hip-hop star at first. At first, he was in training to take over the family business from his father. We can all relate to that, especially those whose parents own a business and expect their descendants to take over at some point. But as we also know, sometimes what our parents want for us is very different from what we want in our lives. In 1996, Sai left South Korea to go study business administration at Boston University. But as soon as he arrived in the United States, he lost interest in the business world. Sai took a summer-long English language course and spent one semester at Boston University before dropping out. He ended up spending his tuition money on things like a computer, an electric keyboard, and sound equipment. Sai ended up attending the Berklee College of Music. He took classes like ear training and contemporary writing. But soon after, he also dropped out from Berklee and went back to South Korea. Sai went to two American schools, but did not obtain any degrees. Military Service Serving in the military isn't for everyone. In some countries like the United States, serving isn't a requirement. But in South Korea, men between the ages of 18 and 35 are required to serve in the military at some point. Sai was drafted in 2003, but he was able to get excused from serving because he worked at a software development company. How was he able to pull this off? South Korea's government has an exception for those who work in technical fields that could benefit national interest. So it's like finding a way to serve in lieu of actually going into service. However, Sai was also working on his music at the same time. In 2007, he was accused of neglecting his work after he was seen appearing on television and booking concerts. Clearly, he wasn't just working for a software company, and people took notice. The government redrafted him into the military despite a lawsuit filed by Psy to try to prevent the action from going through. In December 2007, Psy was redrafted and held the ranking of Private First Class and ended up working as a signalman for the 52nd Army Infantry Division. He was eventually released from his duties in July 2009, and we know what happened after that, stardom. Bad Boy Psy's life wasn't always as straightforward as his affluent family wanted it to be. In 2001, Psy was arrested for smoking marijuana and was also charged with possession. The timing of his arrest was less than ideal because his grandfather was suffering from cancer. Because Psy had to serve a 25-day jail sentence, he couldn't be at his grandfather's side and wasn't able to attend his funeral. This ended up breaking Psy's heart, as he was very close to his grandfather. The hip-hop star has revealed in interviews that not being there when his grandfather passed is one of the biggest regrets in his life. Sai also admitted that going to jail was very bad as a member of his affluent family, but as an artist, it wasn't that bad because he can only grow from experiences like that. Between his avoidance of military service at first and then the marijuana-related arrest, it seems that Sai was a bit of a bad boy in his early to mid-twenties. As Sai grew older, it seemed that he had become more grounded, especially now that he's not only a mega superstar, but he also has a family of his own. Family Man on October 14, 2006, 29-year-old Sai married his girlfriend of three and a half years at a hotel in Seoul. His bride was 29-year-old Yu Hai Yeon, and they met through a mutual acquaintance, and they had been inseparable ever since. 
Pai Yian was a cello major at Yonsei University. Given that Sai had already had his big break in the K-pop world since 2001, he was booked with concerts and admitted he didn't have time to plan his wedding. Their wedding was one of the biggest events in South Korea, and photos from the special occasion were highly sought after. Pai Yian is also very supportive of her husband's music career, and it was actually his wife who encouraged him to join a major South Korean music label in 2010 after his military service was completed. That music label, YG Entertainment, ended up releasing his fifth studio album. The couple also has twin daughters, so Sai clearly has his hands full. Not to mention that he has also been successful in keeping his family away from the limelight. But just because he keeps his family away from the media, it doesn't mean Sai is shy about bragging about his lovely wife. He often tells the press that she is the wife that all men would be envious of. You've made it to the quiz. Here's your question. K-pop first emerged in 1992 with the formation of this music group. What was that group called? Stick around to the end of the video for the answer. In the meantime, here are some more surprising things about Psy. High Tolerance Sai has had a lot of success in hard times in his life. He revealed in 2013 to the Sunday Times that he has an intense alcohol dependency. If he's happy, he's drinking. If he's sad, he's drinking. Sai pretty much said that alcohol is his best friend and right-hand man. It can be whiskey, vodka, tequila, whatever gets him drunk. He often deals with hangovers as well. Even though he was born into an affluent family, it doesn't always mean that he was happy. Growing up and even into adulthood, his father was abusive towards him. It wasn't until 2006 that Sai wrote a song about his father and their estranged relationship. The song ended up creating a bridge of communication between him and his father. Sai has also admitted that he struggles balancing his busy schedule and being a father, with his twin girls asking him when he can live with them again. Keep in mind that Sai's marriage is doing well, but he is often not at home to spend time with his girls. When you take all of these factors into consideration, it's not a huge shock that Sai has found companionship and happiness in alcohol. Record Breaker Sai's music video for Gangnam Style was what turned him into an international sensation. The video reached over 2 billion views on YouTube, making it the most viewed video of all time. We know what you're thinking. Wait, that music video has how many views? The song was one of the most unanticipated breakthroughs of 2012. The music video ended up breaking four Guinness World Records, including most viewed video online, most like video online, first video to be viewed more than a billion times, and first video to be viewed more than 2 billion times on YouTube. But Sai has proven that he has longevity with more than one hit song. His song, Gentleman, broke the record for the most viewed music video online in 24 hours. Because of these achievements, Sai is considered to be the first K-pop artist to make a breakthrough in the Western music industry. And several bigwigs in the business have no doubt that more artists like Sai will make breakthroughs because of his success. Sai is also considered to be the one who introduced the world to K-pop and proving how successful and dynamic South Korea has become. But there is still one part of the world that hasn't heard his music, at least not in an environment where they can freely listen. We'll give you one guess. North Korea because he is from South Korea, Sai often gets questions about his views on North Korea. Ironically, Sai is considered to be the face of South Korea, while Kim Jong-un is the face of North Korea. When you look at the difference between these two men, it's astonishing how they're both famous and well-known for very different reasons. One is making the world a happier place, and the other, well, not so much. When asked about his views on North Korea, Sai said that the conflict between the two states is a tragedy, and he hopes there will be peace very soon. When asked about North Korea's threat towards South Korea and the United States, Sai said he doesn't talk politics as an entertainer. But as a South Korean, all he wants is peace. Sai has continuously said that his music is for everyone, even North Koreans, and that he hopes that they are able to hear his music somehow. During a concert in Seoul, Sai encouraged the 50,000 Koreans in attendance to sing so loudly that their northern neighbors could hear. Clearly, Sai has an affection towards his North Korean fans and hopes that he can bring them some happiness. Connections and Mentor one of the perks of making it big in the music industry is that other superstars will want to collaborate with you at some point. Just because Sai is originally from South Korea, it doesn't mean that he has been completely isolated from the rest of the music industry. Sai has worked with music stars like Snoop Dogg with a song called Hangover. He's also collaborated with Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, along with meeting numerous celebrities like Kim Kardashian. Because of his international star status, Sai is signed to the US record label Schoolboy Records, which is owned by Scooter Braun, who was Justin Bieber's manager. Even Madonna hopped on the Sai bandwagon with her rendition of Gangnam Style with Sai doing backup. He considers that collaboration with Madonna one of the highlights of his music career. Along with collaborations with some of the biggest names in the music industry, Sai also enjoys mentoring up-and-coming K-pop stars. He even served as a mentor for the Chinese reality talent show, The Remix. Even though he isn't on the show anymore, he's more than happy to lend his expertise for hopeful new musicians who dream of making it big, just like he was at one point. Humility 
As one becomes more successful, it can be really easy to fall into the trap of growing a huge ego and becoming full of yourself. When this happens, it's more possible for that person to eventually encounter a downfall that is their own fault. But we likely won't see Sai falling into that trap. One of the most striking traits of Sai is that he is known to be really humble. That's not just him saying that, but others in the music industry have noted his level of humility as well. He has always been grateful for all of his successes. He dresses nicely, but has seemed to have done a good job of keeping himself grounded. One of his best words of advice has been dress classy, dance cheesy. This means that Psy never takes himself too seriously, as you have seen in his music and videos. A culmination of Psy's life experiences, trouble with the law and government, his parents, and his wife and girls are all a part of what has made Psy so successful, and he never stops acknowledging his roots. Not only that, but he credits his past and loved ones for helping him keep his head together and stay humble. K-pop first emerged in 1992 with the formation of this music group. What was that group called? Sao Taiji and Boys. Thanks for joining us. Are you a fan of Psy? Tell us in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these other videos from our channel. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, take a moment to click on that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a moment on the richest. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.